Hey YouTube, the folks over at AFMAT said, Hey Ricks, can you do a review on another one of our pencil sharpeners? And I said, Well, sure, AFMAT, I'd be happy to. And so that's what we're going to do. Okay, well, so let's take a look at it. This is the way it came in this box, as you can see. It says AFMAT Electric Pencil Sharpener. VeraPoint for standard 8mm pencils. Heavy duty pencil point options. Strong replaceable helical blade. Auto stop prevents over sharpening. Safety off feature when tray is removed. Pencil point options. Says replaceable helical blade. Auto stop. Pencil point options. I guess there's two. There's blunt and not blunt. And there's auto on off. Tried and tested technology. What's that? Home plus small office equals equals what? We don't know. All right. Anyway, enough of that goofing around. So it's called the PSB05. The PSB05. All right. I am really anxious to give this a shot here. And see just kind of what kind of a pencil sharpener we're dealing with here. Nicely packed. That's good. Looks like it has a regular power cord on the end. With, hmm, that's good. All right. And of course we have some operator instruction. I'll just put this box over to the side here. Okay. Well, it is definitely a handsome looking unit. Uh, the weight is not very heavy. I would say probably one or two pounds, not maybe one pound. I don't know. It's it's kind of kind of light. Uh, I'd say it's more than a pound though. Maybe one and a half, two pounds. And it has this setting here. And if you look really close, you can see that it's blunt, semi sharp, or blunt, and then sharp. Okay, and then it has this racing arrows right there. It's like if you can't find your way to the adjustment, these arrows will guide you there. There it is. It's right there. All right. It says AFMAT VeraPoint on the front. There it is right there. It says AFMAT again right there, just in case you forgot the name of it when you went from here to here, and it'll remind you right away. Has this nice little chromey looking entry point here and it's got these rubber feet so that's good to keep the puppy from moving on the table <coughs> I'm just kidding I'm kidding it's easy it's easy there you go hey did you hear that that was pretty good huh so that will stick on your table real good Look at that. Hey, that's all right. Okay. If you need instructions on how to use a pencil sharpener, you are in trouble. Oh, we're not going to read all this, are we? No. We're just going to take a look at a few points here. Let's see. Uh, sharpening colored pencils causes wax to build up on the sharpening blade. In other words, don't be throwing your electric pencil sharpener in the bathtub to rinse it off. That would not be a good thing. All right. So there's not a whole lot that you got to learn here. It's pretty simple. And if you don't know how to, how to read English, you can learn how to read it in uh, Chinese, I think. Okay. Now, the other nice thing is this is not a battery operated deal like some of the others that I have been recently uh, reviewing. This one takes AC power. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me just plug it over here in this uh, receptacle and we're going to be testing this thing out. Now to do this, let's see, I'm going to grab one of these pencils. Now, I hope this is not too thick of a pencil. If it is, I'll get another one. But let's try this one. It has paper on the end here. I should take this off, but forget it. Let's see if I'll handle that. OK, 
Okay, it stopped all by itself. Oh. There it is. That's a nice point. Look at that. Ooh. Impressive. Very impressive. But this is a thick core pencil. Let me get something that is a little more. There we go. A regular pencil. And of course, I'm going to have to do something. Close your eyes and ears, little girls and boys, because here we go. Oh, just butcher. Look at that. I just, I just butchered that pencil. Yay! I know you guys are going to start talking to me on that comments and saying, what is wrong with you? Man, that's terrible doing that to your pencils. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in now. Here we go. That sharpens pretty quick, and it stops pretty quick, and there you go. That's it. Ah, ooh. Graphite poisoning. Someone call a... Look at that. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ow. That hurts. All right, try this other pencil here. I'm not going to snap the end off. Yet. Ah, maybe I should have snapped the end off, because it's already done. Ah. Well, let me sharpen something that isn't done here. How about this one? Ah, that's already sharpened. What kind of a review is this if I don't sharpen pencils with the new sharpener? So, let me go find me another pencil here. Uh, here we go. This one looks pretty dull. Well, that works too fast. It works too fast. That may be a problem. It doesn't let you relax and have your coffee while your pencil's sharpening. You can't walk away from it because it's going to be done by the time you stick the pencil in there. But there it is. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and snap that tip off again. You know what I did is I ended up getting a pair of pliers for this very job. I'm not sure where I put those, but instead of snapping it with my finger, I want to snap it with those pliers because it's just so much more satisfying. Anyway, I just snapped it off and I'm going to now change the adjustment to the uh, blunt. See, see what we get with blunt. That's, that's a blunt right there. See how it has that flat point? Look at that. Okay. That's your blunt. Now I'm going to go to the middle one which is your in-between blunt and sharp. That didn't take long. And there's that one. So that's a semi-blunt, not quite blunt, blunt. It doesn't have like a sharp, sharp point. And then if you want a sharp, sharp point, you go all the way to there. Okay, well, I guess that's it. It's not gonna do any more. And there you have a needle fine point that gives you graphite poisoning if you poke yourself in the hand like I did. I tell you, look at that. Wow. Wow. Watch out. Don't get too close to the camera there. You're going to poke your eye out. All right. Well, that's pretty good. This thing works really, really good. Okay, the next thing, of course, let me, uh, let me de de attach it here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. All right. Now, the tray is right here. And it's just a simple thing to slide that tray out just like that. See? Very simple. And then I'm going to go throw this out. Oop, stuck it again. <laughs> Those are good feet. All right. And here you can see all nice and dirty inside from sharpening. There's your helical blade right in there. So that's one of the good blades rather than those you know, a little plastic, regular single blade things that they just have spinning around. You've seen me review some of those, and I always thought, wow, someone just went and got one of those hand sharpening things and just glue it onto a stick, and the stick spins, and there you go. That's an electric sharpener. But this is a real one. This has got the real McCoy in there. You see that blade right there? There it is. Okay. And in here, not a whole lot. Just some place to get dirty get that out of the way slide that puppy back in again just like that what else can I tell you 
it's it's pretty nice. It's a pretty it's a pretty nice unit. I can't think of anything I don't like about it. Uh, let's see. What do I not like about this sharpener? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I liked it. You know, I have another uh, pencil sharpener on my desk. As a matter of fact, let me go get that. Well, this is the one I have. Ugh. Okay, this is the one I had on my desk. And I reviewed this some time ago. The RS4011. Now, this was the CNASA one, right? And, and I like it because, you know, it has that... Here, yeah, let me do this. I liked it because you can do this kind of thing with it, right? You, 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 you put your pencil in, it sharpens, and then it injects it back out, right? Okay, so for some of us who can't pull our own pencils out, this is good. But this is what's been bothering me. And now, I'm doing this because I, I just want to make sure you guys get the full idea of what's going on here with this this uh, AFMAT VeraPoint, okay? So this is on my desk. Use it every day, every day. And I'm doing this, now watch this. Here I am on my desk and I got a pencil and I want to sharpen it, watch this. Okay, did you see what just happened? I started with it here on my desk and then I'm pushing this in and I'm moving the sharpener across my desk. That's the problem, right? So what I always have to do is I always have to sit there and either hold this down with one hand to stick it in, which kind of defeats the purpose of it pulling itself out by itself, or I push it up until it hits the back wall that's back here, but on my desk, it's a different wall. And once it gets there, then the pencil finally catches and goes in. And this has kind of been bugging me for a while because while this is a really good sharpener and I gave it a pretty decent review when I did it, the only thing I don't like is I wish it had the darn sticky feet. But I never thought about it before. I just, I mean, I never thought about gluing it to the table. I just thought, hey, you know, what a drag this thing keeps moving around so much. So, with that said, now that I'm reviewing this one, which just came in, let me plug her back in again. Okay. And this one is now going to be on my desk, not this desk, my, my computer desk. So I'm going to have that down there like this. And now I want to sharpen, you know what, let me move this. Here we go, right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to put my pencil in here. And just pull it out. It stops, you just pull it out. And look, it doesn't move. My whole table's shaking. So, just look at, look at. There, there we go. All right. So, hey guys, right now, all I can say is it is a really nice pencil sharpener, the AFMAT VeraPoint. And, uh, it has a nice receptacle for your stuff there. Real easy to pull out, dump, put it back in. Sharpens to a very, very nice point. You cannot complain about that point one bit. And for those of you like me who want a pencil sharpener on your desk that doesn't move because you only want to use one hand when you sharpen your pencil so your other hand is overdoing something else useful. That's why you have two hands so they can be like doing different stuff. Uh, then I say this is a really good sharpener to have for your desktop. All right, guys. Well, there you go. I hope you liked the review of the AFMAT VeraPoint sharpener. And if so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Because, you know, I put these things out all the time. And, oh, yeah, the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.